Okay, I will talk about AR-500 body armor, AR-550 body armor, and AR-600 body armor, and level 4 ceramic composite body armor. And I want to talk about, you, you see on the net, where it's, it's almost a honest hustle. Every company that sells body armor will tell you that their level 3 body armor is better than the other guy's level 3 body armor. Now, that's not really so, is it? Because if it's rated for level 3, it's level 3 body armor. Now, the company will also, some company will also say, well, my body armor is made out of 550 AR armor, or my body armor is made out of 600 AR body armor. So the, uh, the, the traditional steel plate, which is AR 500 armor. Now, what's the difference? AR 550 body steel plate is harder than 500 plate. 600 AR, AR 600 plate is harder than 550 and 500. But they don't provide, they're not providing any more protection. You understand that? Because what I'm saying is, if it's level 3 plus, it's level 3, but it doesn't matter what it's made out of. It's not stopping any more than the other plates are. The hardest arm is not stopping any more than the 500 arm. Now, my understanding was the reason why most companies make them out of 500 is because 550 and 600 become brittle when you, when you start making the folds in it. You know, you have multi curved plates, and they get two stamps a curve here and a curve there, whatever. And each time you do that, you, you where, the, where the folds are, you have a brilliance. And they evidently figured that out. Uh, a company called Caliber Armor claims that they do it in one stamp, therefore you don't have that issue. Okay? Who knows? But anyways, that's what we have. Uh, they all talk about their, their spalding coating is better than the other guys. And, and it's not. It's not better than any of them. You can go watch any manufacturer, anybody, that has a steel plate with a spalding coating on it, and 6 to 10 rounds, it's coming off the plate. The first three or four rounds, you can't really tell. But after 10 rounds of a 5.56, 7.62 by 39, and 308, it's busting off the plate completely. The whole sides are coming off of it. And there you go, you start getting fragmentation out that, out that where it's no longer uh, retaining cover. You're shooting out the sides of it. You know, several companies, I was watching videos, they where that was happening. And, of course, they said their, their spotting was better than everybody. And it's not. It's not better. Now, what spotting does is to cover fragmentation when the, when the bullet strikes the steel plate, it, it, it shatters. So it's got to go somewhere. And that's what that does, Okay. It shatters and goes everywhere, and you have a chance of being hit by the fragments of the bullet, which can hit somewhere hard, the eyes, the neck, you no, know, the hands, you no, know, you can get damaged. You can be hurt. But they're not, also, I like to say, bring this up, they're not giving you an accurate in-combat use of the, frag, of the uh, spalling fragmentation coating on the plate. Because that plate would be inside a carrier that's generally ballistic nylon. It's going to hold that plate to it just by, you know, being in, being in a pouch. And your, your vest is going to have your gear on it. And you're going to have more ballistic nylon pouches, metal polymer mags, which bullets in them, all that will catch fragmentation. The Israeli years ago, when they just had their uh, low bearing equipment, they would simply just, they were positioning mags and stuff to over, over the chest and heart area, the large blood vessels, to stop from grenade fragments from going that way. So it does work in that sense. They're not giving you a full issue of, a full actual real world combat, when I say, of the uh, effectiveness of the spotting. Or the condition of the spotting in real world combat. Uh, also, you have to watch what companies say. Some companies, most companies are not NIJ tested. So they don't have the official government standing. There is no actual level 3 plus 
That is just what companies have now come to say. An additional harness and armor that will that will protect you from notorious five five six that are coming out of generally a twenty inch barrel. And they're they're exceeding the level three body armor is generally uh armor that is capable of defending against around 2,800 feet and less. An AK-47 round doing about 2,300 feet a second out of a 16 inch barrel. If it's an SK-20 barrel, you get a little bit more velocity out of it. Uh, just like a 20 inch a SK, I mean, AR-15, the bullet's traveling a little bit faster than in the 16 inch carbine. And that's what the plus means. It's a little bit harder than this that, that defends against the around 3,200, 3,300 feet per second. Uh, of that. Uh, I was watching a company today that was showing how their armor coating was so good within 10 rounds it was coming off like this here. Just, in, just the whole side was coming off of it. Just in a sheet. As all of them do. Not making this any worse. Not making this any better. The first you know, six, seven rounds you can't even tell that it's even hitting it. You know, just tiny. You got, you got to rub the spalding coating just to see it. Uh, you know, and then he shoots it with shoots it with a uh, um, 60 rounds, after shooting it, no, 10, 7, 10, 12 times, he drops, uh, 60 rounds from a, uh, uh, AR-15, can't remember if it was 16 inch or 20 inch, drops 30, three 30 round clips in it, 60 rounds, no, go get the plate, the spotty's cracking off like it was doing, you know, uh, there's a little spotty coming out the sides of it, he puts it in the cardboard box, so you can see what where you know where it's going. It's not coming out this way, but it is coming around the sides. Where the plate is where the spotting is come off, the layers come off. Which all of them do. They say they don't they're lying and they, they, there's no video to prove it. Okay? Uh so and he goes shoot sixty rounds through it, you know, through machine gun, three round work, bam, bam, bam. And no Rosen, see look, there's sixty rounds, no, no damage. No, no dimpling. Can't feel any bulging or dimple anything in the front or the back, which is common with steel armor. My oldest plate say, carrier set is the AR-500 that was in the old square of Condor. I bought it seven, eight years ago. It's level three. No coating on it. No spalding coating. And they were taking that exact plate and shooting 200 rounds through it. AK-47. AK-47 with the steel core that we used to get from China. That Bill Clinton stopped. Uh, two, two, three. Uh, I don't remember if he was using. Uh, I don't recall it being struck by the uh, the tw uh, thirty-two hundred vol uh, uh, velocity of five, five, six. May have, but like I said, the video is old, and you know, so I don't remember it. But they shot it with AK forty-sevens, AR fifteens, and three weights, and shot over two hundred rounds through it, and the back was starting to get dimpling. That is that is a real show of strength. That I am, I am confident that all level three armor and three plus will do. Now ceramic composite will not do that. It will not take hundred. It won't take twenty rounds, and it starts getting compromised because it's a composite two pit material, and it starts busting loose. And it's it it's it's not drywall, but it looks like drywall. And then behind it is a ceramic. You got you got to first let it slow it down, and then the ceramic stops what's left of the velocity and the deformation of the bullet. It won't take dozens of rounds of it. Probably ten rounds, but once again, you're not going to get, get shot ten times in combat, in active shooter situation, or you know a home invasion. So all of it is good. It's, all of it is great. You know, you you can find uh Plates for 70 bucks a piece, level threes. Ceramic plates, $150, $199 a plate. All of it is general in, 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 in the range of the average person who, who decently good with his money. Uh, I don't understand why they don't take and put something in the carrier itself that would be ballistic against the shrapnel. I tried emailing. AR-500 armor, you just can't even get an email from them because they're just so, they're so strapped down with, with orders. No, but that's what I would do. I would simply put a coating 
a layer or something, some ballistic. You know, some Kevlar lining, 10 by 10, you know, 11 by 14 sheet in the carrier itself. So no matter whatever you drop in, it works. I've done that myself. I bought 12 sheets of Kevlar. I think it's 23 layers of that will be equal to uh, level 3. And I've done that, and I put one sheet in the, in the stripe side of a carrier, of the, of the, of the plate carrier, and the car plate on the outside of the plate, front and back. Two sets of armor, both for AR-500. One's the Freeman. I bought the Freeman. I really like the Freeman. I'm a small guy, so I get, I still maintain quite a bit of coverage with the carry. You know, I also have a Katie, uh, C-A-T-I, C-A-T-I, come and take it armor, let my four on it. I will put the uh, sheet on that, and I have another, uh, I believe it's Sporting Arms, level three plus. The first, the second day I bought is level three plus. Went to level three. I will put that in there as as an additional. I'm thinking, but I'm not positive. I haven't tried, so if I'm wrong, and nobody nobody's ever told me the, the velocities, you know. But I, I might have should have spent the seventy bucks and bought the coating. The coating comes off anyways. But like I said, once contained in the in the carrier, it is still being held against it. And nobody's really giving you real world, real combat effectiveness of spotting contained in a carrier covered in a nylon carrier with additional gear on top of it there, nobody's ever showed that you know and if y'all could contact someone say we, we we would like to really find out will that make an additional what is any help in that i mean but anyways just remember all all level three plates that are 10 by 12 weigh the same all plates on level three that are level by fourteen, they weigh the same unless they have a different cut. You know, just a square. I've got a backpack plate. I, I think it's it's eleven by ten, eleven by fourteen or something. Ten by fourteen. You know, it's pretty. And unless it's got the swimmer's cut or the rifle cut on it, generally the plates weigh the same. They cut the plates up, cut nails in the plate to to, weigh, to reduce weight. I got the hiccups. <gasps> and to give you more rifle shoulder ability, more comfort. But you lose coverage on your shoulders and so forth. But you still get your throat and your large blood vessels and heart coverage. All right. Also, this is just a point. When you're setting your arm up for you and you're adjusting it, the plate needs to come right here to the esophagus. Where you can push your fingers, the plate needs to come to there. All that is your large blood vessels and heart, and some coverage on the lung, depending on the size of the plate. Keep that in mind when you set up the plate. Uh, there's a company I'm not gonna mention the name. They they sell a plate, and the guy that was promoting them that hustles them, he doesn't like AR500 period. He don't like steel plate, but magically he likes these. So I, I suspect some support some way. No, he said he didn't. He said, these plates are lighter than all the other plates. Well, that's because they are 9 by 10 and a half. They're not even 10 by 11, 12. So, obviously, and they have a small bend to them. They look very comfortable, and they have the swimmers cut to them. So, that's why they're lighter. But look around. All the plates work. All the plates work. Look at the weight. Like, some of them had the, the cummerbund. You can put two 6 by 8 or 4 by, uh, four by 8 plates in them. No, that's great coverage. Have your vest. Harder to get in and out of. So you, you you can check that out. Be careful. You know, I have one that a, has a cummerbund. It's an AR-500 Condor with the K arm plates in it. And it, it's large and it's really too big for me. It, 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 the plate almost has some play in it because it's not snug against me. So, you know, I'm a small guy. So you have to watch what you get, you know. Make sure you don't get an extra large if you're a little bitty fellow like me. Anyways, all the armor works. If you've got the money, definitely get the coating. If you don't, I gave you several options. You could literally go buy a level two uh, plate. Uh, 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 no, uh, just the old police bulletproof vest and cut and cut the size out you need, and tuck it in. That would be more than the, the, the coating could even, that would be more than the coating. Let's go add a little weight to it. 
Uh, you can also buy, you know, you can buy little ballistic plates, going backpacks and stuff. They're, they're rated for level three plus. That will stop the shrapnel. I would imagine level two Kevlar will stop the shrapnel. So you can go on eBay, buy a used piece, you know, 10 by 12, slide it over it, it'd be level two. It will easily stop any fragmentation, grenade, rifle, or anything. There are plenty of options if you, if you didn't buy the uh, spot equipment at the time that you purchased. Like I said, that's what I've done. I don't know how effective it would be, but I, I will probably try to find some Kevlar vests and pieces and just you know, just drop a couple of them in there. You know, 30 bucks a sheet. About roughly what you'd pay for spotting. So anyways, peace out. Stay protected. Stay prepared. Long live the Constitution and the Second Amendment. God bless.